Let me finish eating. Now we'll talk. <laughs> So we got the culvert and I started digging and like an idiot, I didn't move my truck to the good side of the road first. So now we have a truck stuck on the wrong side of a ditch. We have a tractor that is buried in about two feet of mud. Literally it's up to my knee. I, I step out and then I got the bulldozer stuck, but I got that unstuck and had to drive all the way around because this whole thing right here is the riverbed. So now we're going to attempt to do two things. One, we're going to drive my truck across this makeshift bridge that we made using our sawmill. Thank you, Woodmiser. Uh, and then we're going to try to get the tractor unstuck using the winch from the bulldozer. And then we'll put the culvert in and hopefully maybe have a road sometime next year. I think that's what it's called, fording. Okay. What's next? Now we gotta pull the tractor out <laughs> using the bulldozer. Kaylee, can you run the bulldozer for me? Yeah. Side of this river that suddenly just came from nowhere. We now have a river. Um, apparently it was underground and when I disturbed the culvert that was there, it decided to come back to life. So now we gotta dig out, install the culvert, and figure out how we're gonna get in there to dig. But yeah, got everything unstuck, got the truck over without you know sinking into the abyss, and yeah, we'll uh finish up another day. You earned some corned beef and cabbage. Oh, I earned some corned beef and cabbage today. I mean, to be fair, it was my fault. So... 
You didn't know there was a river waiting to run. I did not know that. However, I probably could have deduced that if I had a little bit more experience, but hey, we're learning. It's what you do when you learn. You make mistakes, you fix them, and you move on. So that's what we're doing.